Yeah, we had, a, we had a question. One of the questions here, someone was saying, um, do you think that maybe too many people aspire to go and play in the English Premier League a little too early? I mean, I don't know. I mean, uh, as they say, opportunity comes at once, isn't it? Yeah. So when the opportunity comes, you have to like, you know, have a really think about yourself, you know, uh, if you are really ready, and you know, because back then the premiership was very hard. Yeah. It was very hard. And I mean, people, players make some decisions, but anyways, you go there, the things don't work out, but it, it doesn't mean uh, uh, you were not good or bad, you know, you're not good or something. But I mean, if it, did, it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Because I remember when I was going to the, when I was going to, to England, I was very ready. And, and, and I mean, their game is kind of suit me, it's just how I play my game. So it was, I fit in very well when I went there. Yeah. Tell us about that now, because we, we're now going to talk Chelsea. Um, uh, and, and, and how it is that, first of all, coach, we start off with the coach, um, Mourinho, and, and also just the structure, your teammates, why it is that it, you just, Fits in, like you say, at Chelsea. I mean, uh, my second year uh, at Lyon, uh, when we finished the season, I came yeah. back for to start the preseason with them. I came back, you know, very happy, you know, to start my preseason. That's then when I came back. That's when the you know the other teams start coming in, like Chelsea, you know, my United, and, and them okay. were like, coming in. Again, yeah. So, I mean, at that <laughs> at that point, I would have loved to join uh, United, but I mean, uh, I was speaking with Jose like every 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 day, every other day. And wow. He made it. He made it very, very clear, very straight to me. Like he want me, and uh, he want me to join uh, Chelsea. And there was there was only Chelsea who could pay the. Uh, the transfer at that you. time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could afford me at that time. Yeah. So, I mean, it was not easy. And uh, I remember the first time I spoke to Jose was, I was, uh, I went to uh, Malude's house for a barbecue. And then, uh, during the barbecue, uh, uh, Drogba called him. And uh, he said, uh, Drogba started speaking because they are, they, are quite, they are very close, isn't it? Okay. And then uh, Drogba asked him if Michael, can you, you know, when you see Michael, like, whenever you see him, can you tell him uh, uh, Jose wants his number, Jose wants to talk to him. And then he said, no, Michael is here, we're having a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so I, you know, he, he passed the phone to me and uh, I started I start speaking to Drogba and that's how we started. And I passed I pass on my number to him and he passed it on to, to Josie. And that's Jose. when everything started, yeah. So, and I mean, uh, it, was, it was a tough uh, transfer saga. It was. It, it was. was it was. I mean, when you talk about your was, fee, I mean, at the time, you were Chelsea's most expensive signing of all time. It's, 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 it's not only about the fee, but. The, the difficult part for me was uh, uh, my third year at, at Lyon, we had uh, Girahuli, mm -hmm. who wanted to sign me a, year, a few years before when he was in uh, Liverpool. At Liverpool. Mm -hmm. And this man was a big fan of me. He, he loved me. He loved how I played and everything. So when he came to Lyon, he was happy. I mean, we had a meeting. He was happy. <laughs> He said, now nah, these days, days, now I'm happy. Yeah. I'm going to get a chance to work with you, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. And then we went to, we went to South Korea for preseason. You know, we, every year we go there, we play. We have all these competitions. Yeah. And then uh, Chelsea came in strongly, you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was obviously the president was, was playing his games and everything. And he, you know, this man will always come and talk to me. He said, he knows my love for the Premier League, Premiership. Yeah. But at the same time, he was, he was kind of torn between me going to, the, going to England and staying at Lyon to work with at him. At Lyon. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to go. 
<laughs> I went there to go to England. I remember our first uh, uh, preseason training. You know, we played against this Mexican, and I, I was so angry. I went in so bad. Very bad tackle. I got straight right away. <laughs> right away, and I was yeah. very angry because I was not happy with the how the the president was playing the those game at that time. So I was very angry. I kicked this guy very bad. You know, I apologize. <laughs> I got my red card and yeah. <laughs> and I was off. But I was still training, and you know me. I always train with with a smile, with happiness, and yeah, from there. Yeah. I was not laughing. I was not even talking to anyone. I was just, just getting on with whatever I want to do in training. Then I go. But the coach was very, uh, he was very good with me. I mean, he's, I mean, he will be one of my, the best coaches that even though I work with him very short, he was yeah. always talking to me. Like, so I remember we have to play. Uh, I didn't play two games. And then the final game, we have to play. I think we have to play against Tottenham or so. So he came to my room. He said, Michael, I want to talk to you. I said, play. He said to me, I want you to play this game for me. Oh, wow. For him. Yeah. <laughs> and, I was, I, and I said, you know, straight out, I said, okay, coach, no problem. I respected. Okay, he was like my father at that time. Yeah. You know? I said, coach, okay, no problem. I'll play the game for you, no problem. So I went into the game like with the confidence of the coach. Yeah. I said, play this game for me. I will do whatever I can to help you with the transfer, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I respected him. I went into the game. I was one of the best players on the pitch. So we finished the game. I think we won or so. We finished the game. Yeah. He came to me and said, like in a, in a, in a nice way, he said, you really want to go to England? <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you have to? Was, do you have to? I was like, yeah. with a big smile. I was like, I re, I reply with him with a big smile. I was like, uh, Coach, I, I would love to go. You know, <laughs> I want to go to India. He said, Yeah, I know. So we had our little oh, man. joke then, and uh, yeah, yeah. So we came back to Leon. And uh, the whole thing was going on. The whole saga thing was going on. So I told the boy, yeah. I'm not going to play uh, any uh, <clears throat> any official game for Leon until the whole the whole uh, uh, transfer situation is sorted transfer out. Transfer is finished. Yeah. So I know yeah. if I'm going or not. If I'm going, fine. If I'm not going, it's okay. I'll, I'll work my head around and, and, you know, prepare my mind that I'm going to stay you know start the season with leon so mm -hmm. and the coach respected it the president respected it and uh, i was going to train no problem i was going to training i do my training you know everything and then one day it just happened 